all of you who know me know that I really hate doing this. In fact, I, my arm was twisted by my boss. I have the same boss at work as that hand at home, Radhika. And for once in your life, do something good. But I must say that um, it is great, great to have all of you here. Honestly, it is moving and I want to remind every one of you, we are all here because of these gentlemen. <laughs> they fought this much tougher battle and we've learned, they gave us freedom. It's your, in your shadow that we try to grow. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you very much indeed. I, I must say that I do remember, I, I went to China once and I was on a panel of the Fortune magazine and the first question they asked me, you're from India, you've seen China, don't you feel jealous? Well, I, actually, I do feel a bit jealous, but I won't want to admit it there. I say, yeah, you've got great skyscrapers, but we have the best skyscraper of all, freedom of speech, which you don't have. Next time they didn't allow me to speak. They wanted to check my speech before we, before I was allowed to talk. But most of all, I've got just three points to make. And the first point is, I'm not gonna speak for long. This is not about NDTV. This is a signal for all of us. And the fact that there's no case that is a flimsy, ridiculous, concocted set of facts makes it even bigger signal. Uh, they're trying to tell us we can suppress you even if you have done nothing wrong. That's the signal. Okay, if you do something wrong, we all deserve punishment. But they're telling you we will fix you even if you're innocent. Remember that signal and fight it. We must. And be clear, it is a signal for the entire free press of India. And boy, do we love the free press. It's the most beautiful thing about India. Very few countries have this. Let's not lose it. Let's treasure it. So their basic idea is crawl or we'll come and get you. Stand up, they'll never come for you. Mark my words. And my second point is, in this whole thing, our fight and our criticism, frankly, is not against the CBI or the ED or the income tax. It's against politicians who are manipulating and want to inviscerate these institutions of our country. They want to disembowel them. We are not fighting them. The poor guys, they have families. But we are fighting, we know the politicians, they tell us off the record why they have to do this. And you'll get these politicians making all kinds of claims and using these little forces, uh, uh, these institutions, and ruining and destroying our country. Our fight is not even against Sanjay Dutt. He's also being used. He's just a, another tool. He's another uh, person that is being exploited. I do want to tell you uh, a little anecdote. Sanjay Dutt's mother, and this was not done off the record, so I can mention it to you, is a wonderful, wonderful human being. I mean, all of us would love to have a mother like that. And she called about five of us together along with Sanjay just to say, look, what are you doing? Five years are going on and on. And during that meeting, two things she said stuck in my mind. First she said, Beta, these are good people. You have made a mistake. Now, Beta, fix your mistake. She listened quietly. And she said, one more thing, Beta. Every day when I say my prayers, I pray more for them than I do for you. I take my hat off to this wonderful lady, and I hope the son remembers those 
I doubt he does. He's just another uh, what do you call it, bolt in the system. Finally, I'd like to say this concocted set of facts, please do not believe ever there's no smoke without a fire. <coughs> Politicians can make smoke without any fire. They can do it quite easily. There's many more to come. As Nainan was mentioning, one of the factors they said, when NBC and General Electric invested $150 million in us, they're saying, no, no, they didn't invest. It's a sham transaction. We sent money out to Hawala. Mr. Imelt and Mr. Jeff Zucker, who's now head of CNN and was head of NBC at that time, they acted as money launderers and a round trip the money back to us. That's the accusation that India is making on General Electric and the head of CNN Worldwide. I'm ashamed of our politicians who can say that. It's a disgrace to our country that we should even think that and accuse people like that of that. They've also accused us, and I'm not joking, of carrying on a prostitution racket in the income tax department. NDTV carries on a prostitution racket in the income tax department. You know, we do things properly, not by half measures. <laughs> they are accusing us of siphoning money, no evidence, but it's all part of the, uh, part of the game. All I can say is here today I commit that we will answer every one of these false charges openly and transparently. All I ask is please make it a time-bound process. What has happened in the income tax case, we appealed. Three years the appeal is in the uh, income tax of appellate authority. Three years not heard once. The government lawyer has asked for 21 adjournments in three years and we were asked for zero. We want her to be heard. They don't want it to be heard. There's no asked case. So if this can all be put together and in a time bound, three months, six months, overseed, open, transparent, we would just love that. And I think all of us, in all our issues, just ask for transparency and a deadline. Please. Um, I, I just also one last sentence to end with. Uh, I, would, I, I, I commit to you here that Radhika and I and NDTV have never touched one rupee of black money. We have never bribed one person in our lives. All the houses we bought are in complete bought in white. Our uh, uh, state agent is bloody upset with us every time we ask him. But we say no, white or nothing, and he finds a place. If you, if you stick by what you, your principles, you will get the answers. And I want to say today that we will die knowing we have never bribed anybody and we have never touched black money. We will die. And, but most important, we will live happily ever after. Thank you very much.